What did you do with that money? Seven million dollars in total was donated to, I split it between the ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los okay. Angeles. ACLU. Hello to each and every single one of you lovely smiling faces out there. I hope you're all doing well on this Friday. As you can see by what we just showed, we all know that she's a liar. And obviously, yesterday during the court appeal, well, the decision to if the appeal can be granted, we heard NGN and everything else state, well, no, she's promised to donate all that money over a certain amount of time. First of all, that is the first time anyone has ever heard of it. And obviously, we've even seen letters from the children's hospital stating, you haven't given us any of our money. Where is it? And obviously, what we're going to look at in the stream tomorrow is just glorious because it shows how decrepit and how crooked the ACLU really is. But with this video, as you saw then, she donated $7 million. She split it between two charities, as she says on that TV show. And even the TV presenter was like, you did something that was quite, you know, different and it was, you know, quite out of the thin air. You gave the money away. Yes, I gave it away. We have seen her so many times state she has donated this money. She hasn't got it anymore. This is exactly what she said. Come to this year, obviously... The letter came out from the Children's Hospital where they're in, you know, 2019. Yeah, we still haven't received a penny from you. Then you saw her lawyers come out. Oh no, she does plan to do this in the future. She's just had to, you know, she had Johnny Depp suing her. Yeah, she had Johnny Depp suing her in 2019. That's when he put his actual papers in to sue her. And then you got, obviously, like we are saying with tomorrow, the ACLU. They said that in 2016... She signed a 10-year deal, or a donation pledge deal, or whatever, with the ACLU to pay their money over 10 years. Yeah, that's one thing I don't believe. But again, if she done that for them, why hasn't she done it for the Children's Hospital? Anyway, we're going to take a look at the following. This is Forbes' website. This article is from August 23rd, 2016. AH donates Johnny Depp 7 million divorce settlement to charity. Could face huge tax bill. Johnny Depp and AH recently finalised a divorce. Yeah, we get this. Going around. Reports soon emerged that AH was seeking 50 grand a month in alimony, but last week the two reached a settlement that will have Depp making a one time payment to AH of 7 million. That was not the most newsworthy part at the end of their appearing, however. AH immediately released a statement explaining that she will contribute the entire $7 million to charity. As described in the restraining order and divorce settlement, money played no role for me personally and never has, except to the extent that I could donate it to charity and in doing so, hopefully help those less able to defend themselves. To that end, the $7 million will be split between two charities, the ACLU, with the money earmarked to prevent violence, and the Children's Hospital of LA, with Heard saying, I know these organisations will put the funds to good use and look forward to continuing to support them in the future. Hopefully this experience results in a positive change in the lives of people who need it. Well, she hasn't paid a machine. While AH's donation of a settlement payment is undeniably admirable, depending on the way the settlement was structured, it may well yield an untenable tax situation. So, according to Forbes, even Forbes has said, yeah, she's given the money away. We have seen so many news sites and everything else from 2016 up to January, February this year stated she gave the money away. The judge even stated, he goes, well, the majority of it is basically, I believe her because she said she's given the money away. She doesn't have it anymore. Two charities have it. But then obviously it's come out that she hasn't actually paid them a single penny. Johnny Depp paid the first uh, part of the money. And then you had good old Elon Musk pay the second half to someone else anonymously, but in her name. So straight away, she hasn't paid anything to these charities. But we're going to go into what happened yesterday, obviously, because this is what the majority of it was over. 
Johnny Depp says lawyer about charity donation influenced the liable judge. 100% it did. Because he said, these are not the actions of a gold digger. But obviously she is because she hasn't given the money away. But then obviously it goes on stating a claim by AH that she gave all of her divorce settlement to uh, with Johnny Depp to charity was a calculated and manipulative lie to influence a liable trial. His lawyers have told the court. The judge who found uh, in the liable trial last year, remember liable, not criminal, that Depp had done this was subliminally influenced by the evidence of the donation, which is 100% true. Lawyers representing newsgroup newspapers, publishers of The Sun, told the Court of Appeal that A.H. was still a victim of this, even if she had been feisty and admitted on video to hitting him. Which, that got everyone like, oh my god, are they seriously saying that, oh, even though she admitted to doing this, and she admitted to being the bad person, then, but she's only feisty, judge. She's a feisty woman for doing that. Everyone was like, I'm sorry, what? You had the actual judges go in. What? Like, you almost like, you can't say that. You can't say because she hit someone that she's feisty. No, you do not do that. And the judges, they just sat there. And to be honest with you, people who saw it, well, a lot of people have seen it now because it's currently coming up to like 30 odd thousand views for the Johnny Depp one on YouTube on the court's actual page itself. And everyone, you know, I've looked on Twitter, my feed, it was on uh, Tug's feed, everyone who was live streaming the event, everyone could not believe it that this is how NGN wanted to go. Calling someone who had an argument with their spouse because she, you know, actually hit him, oh, she's feisty. No. But it does carry on. Judges presiding over an attempt by the uh, actor to overturn a ruling last year that he did this to her during the marriage reminded of the ample support for AH's evidence as his legal team accused her of a calculated and manipulative lie. AH had not donated all of the divorce settlement to US charities as she claimed, which is very true. They also argued that the judge had erred in not attaching much weight to recordings in which AH appeared to admit to doing this to Johnny Depp. Neither Depp nor Heard were present. Yeah, we knew that. We knew that was going to happen. Depp lost the high stakes action in November. Yeah, we know that one. But it was just absolutely disgusting. But it does go on. So we got in written submissions on behalf of Depp, Andrew Caldecott QC said, The pledges about donating the 7 million had strengthened her credit in an exceptional way. Which it did. Because you, like we saw in the very beginning of this video, you had news people around the world. That was a Dutch TV show. And they're there, what you did is great. You did something exceptional. What did you do with the money, Miss uh, A.H.? Seven million dollars in total was donated. You had people praising her because she gave money away, because she gave that money away. But then you had I.O. Tiller saying she could have asked her for a lot more. I was like, but she didn't want the money anyway. So if Johnny Depp just gave that seven million to charity and then more on top, he looks the better man than what she wants to be. But it does go on and saying the uh, NGN would have no defence without AH, which they wouldn't. There were many other witnesses, but she was on any view centre stage. Who added that AH's witness statement referred to how the entire amount of my divorce settlement was donated to charity. The barrister told three Court of Appeal judges, We say it is potentially subliminal messaging. I want him to pay, but I don't want to keep a dime of his money because of the way I have been treated. But then, as you can see by here, it's what we actually just uh, done at the very beginning of this in the Forbes article on August uh, 18th, 2016. But it was absolutely brilliant to see that all of this came out and NGN did not have a single argument to go against it. They just literally tried saying what they said in the courts back in uh, last year. And it was just funny because <laughs> Waz QC, I can't remember her name, but Ms. Waz... She was there, she was talking, she was stuttering, she couldn't get her argument out. Well, her lack of argument. She was, uh, um, uh, yes, uh, yes, your honour. And the judges even went, what's your point? When a judge says to someone, especially someone who is the barrister, what's your point? They know you haven't got anything. 
and he was just great to see because he just basically said, is this all you got? Yeah, yes, your honor. Then sit down. He cut her off. He sat her down, which was brilliant. Obviously, then you had the other guy come in and he just, he's the one who came on and said that AH was feisty. She was this, she was that. And it's like, what? You know? But then again, no, it's when he's the one who brought up the donations. Well, just because she said she was good, she donated, it doesn't mean she did it. That's a pledge. That's just only a pledge. So basically saying, I'm going to donate this. I haven't got to do it or I can do it years down the line. No. She specifically said in the past tense, I donated. I gave the money away. She actually said that. It's in the witness statement as well for the court last year. So it's going to be interesting to see how this goes. At this moment in time, I am really positive about it, just because NGN had no argument whatsoever. And you could even see the judges, they were getting bored of it. They were just like, oh yeah, hurry up. Yes, okay, you know, scratching his chin, going like this, and it's just, uh, have you got a point? You know, that was the key moment for a lot of people to be like, well, yeah. There is no point to this. The judge, he just seemed to have gone, oh, well, I'm going to go on this and that's it. Also, at the start of the trial, before we end the video, this is, when they st told the judges regarding Judge Nicole and he lo overlooked certain evidence, they did not like that. You, They looked at each other and they were like, okay, he actually had this. And they were like, yes, Your Honor, well, we believe he did. And he overlooked it. If he's overlooked that little part of evidence for this case, how many times has he done that in the past? How many people has he sent to prison because he's overlooked something that could have got him off? If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates and I'll see each and every one of you soon.